I was playing hockey and my dad was at my game and my dad was, I don't know if he was present at this time, but he was involved with the rugby, the rugby club and uh, we had come off the ice for the resurface after the first intermission and my dad pulled me aside as we were walking the locker room and he was like, hey, your brother had an, had an accident. Um, I don't know much more about that right now, but just so you're aware. Um, and then so I went back into the locker room, didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really have any concept of what was going on. Uh, and then played the second period, came back off again, and my dad pulled me off and was like, you need to, you need to get off the ice and drive up to Minneapolis or St. Paul to the hospital because he's been unresponsive and not breathing and I think you need to, to get up there. And that was, uh, that was a flood of emotions at that time. I had no idea what to expect. Um, growing up, I, there was always that doubt in the back of my mind that my brother wouldn't come home from one of the tours, uh, something that I battled with as a young, a young guy. Um, but I never really expected it to happen on U.S. soil. So I didn't know what I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if we were going to lose him then or uh, what was going to happen. So that was kind of a flood of emotion driving up to St. Paul that day. This video was produced by Brainline, thanks to generous support from the Infinite Hero Foundation.